Hi, I'm Thomas Jefferson Wedge from Ray White Dalkeith Claremont, and today I am so excited to show you yet another one of these beautiful and large double-story penthouses at the Aria Complex in Swanbourne, Western Australia. Penthouse 145 is three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and it is 313 square meters of total strata living. Your internal living is 161 square meters, and your outdoor living, if you can believe it, is a very generous 122 square meters of outdoor patio space split between two different levels. So as you can see, we're gonna enter off of the patio through these large double doors into the living kitchen and dining, open plan as you see in a lot of the penthouses, most of the penthouses in Aria. And as we come around here into the kitchen, I'll just point out, this is the door you actually access to come into the apartment, okay? We are on the fourth floor of the property, of Aria, of the complex, and all of the appliances here are Miele integrated. So starting here, you've got your integrated freezer, integrated fridge, which I just think looks so beautiful and seamless, and they're also fantastic appliances. Integrated microwave, you've got integrated 600 mil uh, oven, and your steam oven is just next to that right here. And of course, my favorite appliance, the integrated coffee maker with milk steamer, integrated induction cooktop, and integrated Miele dishwasher. So all very high quality, very beautiful, sleek, modern, uh, beautiful in the penthouses here. You have a, a stone, engineered stone bench top with a double sink. I think is fantastic for serving, fantastic for cleaning up and being able to have a little wine and cheese here as you're getting ready to move over here to when there'd be a, a beautiful dining table here for meals for the family. So what we'll see next is we're gonna go to the west side into the master bedroom. Plush carpeting, floor to ceiling windows, floor to ceiling shears and blackout curtains. If you need to uh, have a room completely dark when you sleep like I do, those are fantastic. You also have these movable um, blinds outside that also louver so they can give you some privacy, they can block out light, they can also block out some wind if you need that, but they're very versatile. They're on a track that also go down all the way to the other end of the property. So, and this is a sliding door as well. You do have access out onto the patio from the master bedroom. So you could even sleep with this open with the fly screen closed. And if you wrap around over here, you'll see we have walk-in robes, air conditioning control just for this room, into the master bathroom with toilet, shower, and a very deep tub. And when we go to the mirror image of the property on the other side, to the second bedroom, you also have the floor to ceiling uh, windows with access onto the patio as well, floor to ceiling blinds and blackout curtains, and a smaller walk in robe, but also an ensuite, which is a fantastic feature. And coming back into the main living, dining, and kitchen area, you've got linen cabinet. You also have in the second, or the, the powder room, so this is the, the 0.5 bathroom, uh, a European style laundry, so very compact. There's also a sink in here as well. It's good if you're not somebody who needs all of that extra space or need, doesn't need an, an extra laundry room, because as you know, you do pay strata fees based on unit entitlement. And when you have a, a bit smaller space, you know, obviously your strata fees are gonna be a little bit less, a little bit more conservative. Oh, what I wanna point out too is here, on the bulkhead, you do have storage underneath, like this. And then also, this is an ethanol clean burning fireplace. So it is beautiful and aesthetic, very modern, but also there's not a flue because it is, as it's clean burning, this is just a heat pad, so it absorbs the heat. Now, I do know people that have these and they say it actually emits more heat than you would expect, so it does keep you warm. It's, it's, it's not a raging fireplace or wood stove like, like I had where I grew up in North America. <laughs> However, it is a beautiful, it adds to the ambiance and 
of the property. Now, we're gonna head upstairs, and the first thing you'll notice is this void area right here. Off of the plan, you could, if you wanted to, install an elevator if stairs would become an issue for you later in life. Now, I don't know anybody in the complex yet that has needed to do that, and obviously walking up the stairs is a great bit of exercise. Hopefully I won't get too winded <laughs> walking up the stairs. But when we come on to the second level, opening up, the property is bathed with light from the east, from the south, and we'll go into the third bedroom which is the largest bedroom in the property. So this could make obviously a great bedroom, but also an excellent home office. You'd have fantastic views south, looking over the playing fields, all of the beautiful common areas, obviously at Aria, but also Claremont Showgrounds. You can see Claremont Quarter. You can see South Swanbourne. Magnificent views from what is essentially the fifth floor obviously only accessible through your penthouse onto this level with a small walk-in robe as well. And when we come out here to the second living area, you've got this expansive, all of this light bathing into the second living area, bathing down into the void down below, light just fills this place, That's what, and I love actually, you feel the sea breeze right now, which is fantastic, because we've had an incredibly hot summer, a little bit of a cloudy day today, but it's very welcomed because uh, as much as I love the sun, and I do very much, uh, it's nice to have a little bit of a break. So let's head outside. And as I said, you've got a, a, a massive outdoor entertaining space that goes from that end of the property as well, and, and through the third bedroom all the way over here and around to the outdoor kitchen with gas barbecue and sink as well as refrigerator and featuring the outdoor spa and outdoor shower. And what's fantastic about this area is that they actually didn't cover this. So let's say you're taking a nice hot tub at night. You've got beautiful views of the stars and just seeing the sky, it, it would just be an, an amazing place to relax at the end of a very busy day. And in the winter, when it does get a little bit cooler here, not freezing cold, but it does get cool in Western Australia, um, having a nice warm bubbly hot tub sounds pretty good to me. And there you have it, Penthouse 145 at 2 Million Arm Rise in Swanbourne, Western Australia in the Aria development. If you are looking for a beautiful, very modern, double-story penthouse, lock up and leave with beautiful common areas so you can just come relax, feel like you're living at a resort, then I think you may need to take a look at Penthouse 145. If you want to give me a call for a private viewing or a text, call me at 416 Six five seven three zero zero, and if you wouldn't mind, give the video a like. Thank you so much. My name is Thomas Jefferson Wedge from Ray White Dalkeith Claremont, and it would be a pleasure to serve you.